four, five, six, seven, and eight. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, and two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, this is the short routine we did in Soul Jazz session two. Um, if you want to know more about transitions, here are a couple of things to look out for. Um, we started the shishka boom, but we prep already in some TikToks or crawls, however you might want to call them. So we have one, two, three, uh, four. So you want to make sure you really end up in this position with your knees together so you're ready to open up right away after. So one, two, it's like a triple prep. I want to make sure you end here and do that to the other side. And then um, let's check out the eagle slide. We have a kick, ball change, step, slide, down. And from here, you want to hop into the lock turn. I recommend hopping just because it's faster. You could also, of course, just put that leg over and make sure with the lock turn, you already start twisting your hips 90 degrees because then it will be easier for you to turn. And I had the routine two times in a row, but I changed my feet, so I did it once on the right side of my body and once on the left side of my body. Um, you can, of course, stick with one side for now if you're more comfortable with that. Let's do it again to music. <laughs> short little routine was part of a one hour solo jazz class. If you want to take the full class so you have more time to practice and you get thorough explanations for this routine and other jazz moves, check out the link in the description below.